Welcome back everyone. This is the final lesson on Stripe subscription. We will be focusing on managing customer subscription using Stripe's customer portal. There are two main ways you can do it. The way, first way you can allow the user to select a new product and you make the API call. But an API call you wanna make is the update subscription product, uh, update subscription API call. And then you pass in a new uh, ID. Another way to do it, which is uh, I can show you which is the easiest way to do it is to actually use Stripe's customer portal. So this customer portal allows the user to um, manage their subscription here. So if you enable customer can switch plans and then you, you know whatever you want to do right you want pro rate subscription or not etc settings all yours here and they can access the invoices if you want uh, and things like that. So I'm adding you know, all the plans they can select from. Uh, actually, maybe the way I've set it up for subscription is not right. I think it should be two products and the price will represent month and year, yearly subscription. So I'm going to quickly go back because pay, basic and premium are not prices. They're actually products. So I'm going to quickly rejig this. Um, to, but the whole end-to-end -end flow is exactly the same still. I'm just going to delete this. Uh, I'm going to archive it. And let's rename this to be a basic product and create a new one called premium premium that's gonna be thirty dollars per month and product and then the premium price will have a price id here so how would you use price going back how would you use pricing is that for example you might want to add a product a pricing of a yearly price of Maybe get them subscribed for a year for $190, which is cheaper than $30. Um, but you get $190 straight away for a year. Uh, that's ultimately how you want to do it. But anyway, I'll just copy this $30 a year here. Update our drop down here for $30 will be this price ID. And then I'll, and that's how you would uh, manage your pricing per product per uh, different periods. Anyway, going back to where we were the portal, the customer portal that allows the user to um, manage the subscription. So here I've added ability to switch plans. And here the plan I'll allow them to switch is between the basic and we can also add the premium product. So the premium product $30 a month. So I'm gonna save these changes. So what happens is that when you know, we can test this out, um, when a customer logs in, well, there's a button from our app that calls manage subscription, they'll see this page to update the plan and cancel the plan. So before I do this, maybe I'll just add some conditional visibility. So it means that if this, uh, we won't allow them to select any more products. If the authenticators uses Stripe, uh, Stripe sub ID, um, it's set and not empty. And then we will also maybe add a bit of container. <clears throat> Sorry, um, maybe we'll just duplicate this. Let's quickly add some information about the Stripe. Uh, the Stripe information. Uh, let's wrap this in a container. Uh, let's add some text information just to see, just to show the back end. Authenticated user Stripe ID. Duplicate this. Authenticated users are uh, end date. So it just shows you shows when the next when's the current subscription date. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, you can you know I'm just showing you information. But the last thing we want to do here is, as I mentioned, the ability to manage the subscription. So let's just say that we want the user to manage the subscription. You can do it from our app where you're going to make the API calls of update subscription, or you can leverage Stripe's um, portal, customer portal. So in order to do this, we need to set up another API call. <clears throat> and the API call is going to be customer portal. So of course you can Google this as well, customer portal Stripe API call. And then you can read all about it yourself as well. But what you need basically is the bare minimum here. It's going to be a 
let's call this customer portal. It's going to be a post request because we're getting the parameter will be customer, which is the customer key from the variable. And then what we need is slash billing portal slash sessions. Add call. Sorry. Um, it's going to be a string. Add call. And let's test this to see if it works. So the customer key I had created recently is this key. Um, maybe I just copy it from the back end. It's this key. And then the key, let's call this key. Let's test this key. Uh, you can see here, when I run it, it passes this URL, which we'll need to use. So let's add this JSON path. Save, see what it looks like by running it manually. So it looks like this, the custom portal. So you can see here that my plan is renewing on the 19th. This, uh, all the subscription I've made, you can update the plan between the two. Uh, and then you can also cancel the plan if you want. So let's use this API call. So this, um, so add an action. API core and it's going to be custom portal. The variable we need is customers, authenticated users, customer key. And let's call this um, portal response. And on success, let's launch the URL. And it's going to be the response, the API response, JSON body, uh, JSON path. Sorry, um, define path, URL, perfect. So let's refresh this to see if it works. Oh, one little thing, it's subscribe subscription ID is unset or is empty. Uh, we show it. If it's set, we don't show it. That's a little bit of a mistake on my end, but let's refresh this. Okay, now that's loaded, let's manage subscription. So when I click this, it automatically went to the portal and here I can change the plan. Let's say update from uh, basic premium, a uh, basic monthly to uh, premium annually. I'll press continue and then confirm. So what ha should happen is that Stripe will set up a new webhook saying the new subscription date. So you can see here the new subscription date is now April the 14th, 2025 because it's a year from now, because I just subbed to the annual subscription. So that's how it works. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on Stripe subscription and remember to support me by making a donation or comment, like, or subscribe for more content on Flutterflow.